Hey y'all and welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. Today I am very excited to be sharing with you guys a brand new palette that is just about to launch. It is from Nomad Cosmetics and it is their newest palette that they sent me in PR. I believe it is pronounced Fiatis de Provence. I'm gonna put the words here and just refer to it as the new Nomad palette because it definitely is a bit difficult for me to pronounce and I hate butchering it by trying to pronounce it. So anyway, this new palette here, a Nomad sent it to me. They were super, super kind. Here's what it looks like on the inside and I have had the opportunity to play with it for about a week now. I have a ton of looks to share with you guys. I'm so excited that I'm actually kind of on top of it enough to give you guys a multiple looks video plus swatches plus my review at the end. So there's a lot that is gonna be in this video. I hope you brought a snack, but I hope you're ready to see a bunch of fun looks because we're gonna play with this and just give it a thorough testing and I'll share with you guys my thoughts on it that way you can be prepared once launch time comes if it's something you want to pick up or not so as I said this is the newest palette from Nomad Cosmetics it is a gorgeous array of purple yellow and pinky reds in there it is a very beautiful palette and for something a little bit different I feel like that we've seen from Nomad in a couple releases there's no like blue or you or green in it I love blue and green but I will admit it was fun to see a different type of color story from them and it's a very very kind of spring summer type of color story and if you're someone who prefers more neutrals but you do enjoy a little bit of color this is definitely I would think a great palette to check out because yes it's got a lot of color but the tones you can get are very just soft very easy very wearable in my opinion I was able to create so many fun and effortless looks with this so yeah we'll get into the looks in the tutorial but this is what the palette looks like the price is going to be on the screen as well as the launch date and I will put the information down in the description box just in case anything changes I'll leave it down there as well as a link to Nomad's website if you want to check out their website when it does launch. So with that intro out of the way, I think it is time to head into swatches and the tutorials. As I said, this is multiple looks. I've lost count about how many I've done, but I think it was like six or seven looks. So lots of looks that we're going to be getting into, but before we do that, we're going to dive into swatches. I swatched this palette out on my arm, and then right from there, we'll go ahead and segue into my voiceover for the tutorials, and then we'll meet back here to give you guys my final thoughts and review for this palette. If you're new to my tutorials, I try to give as much as I can detailed review on each of the individual shadows that I'm using so if you find that helpful to really get into the nitty-gritty on how each one of them perform because I'm pretty sure I was able to use pretty much all of the shades in this palette throughout all of the looks that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video so if you're interested in that to hear what my thoughts are for each of the individual shadows definitely stay tuned as I said let's go ahead and dive into swatches and then get into the tutorials All right, so let's dive into this first look per usual, starting off with an eyeshadow primer, but then I'm diving right into to that black and packing this on the outer corner. As you can see, a one dip into the pan. I always tap my brush off lightly, but it shows up really nice and pigmented. And that one dip, I was able to pretty much cover the area that I wanted to on my eyes, very smooth shadow. Moving to the next color, I'm gonna take that on top of the black into the crease and just kind of work on meshing that purple with the black, but also taking it and deepening my crease out with that purple this shade also very pigmented very smooth and easy to work with and just nomads mattes are always really really nice and these two color, first colors are no exception going into that lighter lilac color i'm taking that and using it as another step to blend out my crease and just soften it out and just make a very effortless and diffuse crease this shade also is very light but it shows up very well very smooth very easy to work with and really works well to aid in blending out those shades in my crease taking that that light pink rose I am going to take that in my inner corner just to have a pop of pink to this look it's very cool tone and purple so I want a little bit of pink in the inner corner this shade also it's very very light as you can tell it's definitely like pastel almost too pastel for my skin tone that it's hard to see but it does show up a little bit on my eyes and I just took the purple in a little bit more just to make sure you could really see the definition in my crease after a little bit of glitter primer this is from JD Glow Cosmetics I'm gonna dive into that gorgeous middle yellow 
yellow shade there. This is the one that was catching my eyes so hard in the palette. It is a beautiful, beautiful yellow type of intense metallic shade, but it also is a type of shade that depending on what you pair it with, different colors really stand out differently. So as you're gonna see throughout these tutorials, depending on what colors I put it next to, it really does change the colors that come out of the shade. It's absolutely beautiful, very sparkly, very intense. Next up is that metallic gray, and I'm putting this on the rest of the eyelid, and this shade is also very, very pretty very very metallic the two shades that I used in this eye look are intensely metallic it's like a very sparkly metallic finish for Nomad Cosmetics so beautiful to work with very very nice Then just taking a touch of that dark purple or dark lavender, I'm just kind of blending out the outer corner before I do my face and finish off the lower lash line using that dark red macarons or macaroons. And I am just putting this right as just a pop of something different on my lower lash line. And as you can tell, it is a very bright and intense red. And then once that was down, I'm taking that same pink I used in my inner crease and I'm using this to diffuse the red out and just soften it up so it's not so intense. Before doing my inner corner, I'm taking that uh, pink shade, this one, and then the shimmer next to it on the middle row are a different type of shimmer than the other three on this row and these are much more of like a softer kind of um, finely milled type of shimmer still very beautiful still very pretty but it doesn't have like the intense sparkle metallic finish that the other three have in the palette but anyway with that done that is the completed look this was the very first look I did using the palette and overall I really did enjoy it I thought the wear time for uh, the eyeshadow look was really really nice the only kind of downside is that the intense metallics that I use on my lid even with glitter primer underneath do transfer heavily up into my crease it's just something maybe because it's just so intense and sparkly and so soft it just by the end of the day was pretty much up into my eyebrow area just kind of a traveled throughout the day but besides that all the mattes there was no fading there was no creasing with the shimmers that's something i, I was very pleased with even though it does travel there is no creasing or fading with the shimmers All right, look number two, let's dive right in. I am gonna be taking that gorgeous yellow mustard shade and packing this on the outer corner. Very pigmented, a little goes a long way as you can see. I have literally no complaints with this shadow. It is smooth and beautiful. Once that was down, I'm gonna take that dark black or gray black and I'm popping this right on top. I wanted to see if I could add depth and get a really dark outer corner without just having it black on the outer corner. So I, I wanted to see if I could mix the two to really make it pop. And as you can see, it does work pretty well enough. I feel like it was a little patchy looking. But regardless, I kind of play with, around with this a little bit before going into that lightest kind of very pastel yellow and using that as the final blend out for the whole look. This shade is very, very pastel to the point where it's very difficult for me to really see it on my eyes it's definitely one of those kind of invisible shades for me that just helps to blend out a look but doesn't really stand out for me on my skin tone because it's just so very 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 light of a color then i'm going to take that light lavender and i'm just going to pop it in the inner corner just to give a little something different you guys know i like to kind of make the the different colors pop and this one we've already used it but shows up beautifully i'm going to take a couple more minutes to play around a little bit more with my outer corner as you can see because i was wanting it to get a little bit darker and make sure there wasn't any kind of patching issue or just like weird blending issues before I go ahead and put on my glitter primer before starting the shimmers on my lid. Once happy with that, I'm gonna take that Navitis, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that shade and I'm putting it on. Like I said, with the pink shimmer that I used on my inner corner in the previous look, this is a very fine type of shimmer. So it's very, very fine. There's no like intense metallic look to it. There's no intense sparkles or, you know, different color sparkles that stand out. It's a very smooth product. It's not a satin color or anything like that. It's definitely still a shimmer, but it's very smooth and more subdued in comparison to the other three more metallic-y type of shadows. And once that was down, I'm gonna take that purple, and this one, as you can see in comparison, is just got a lot more intensity to it, a little bit more uh, metallicness to it, and a little bit more sparkle to it in comparison. So I'm just gonna put that on the rest of the eye and just pack it on until I like it. And once I like how those two look, I'm gonna take that gold in the middle of the palette, and I'm just kind of use my finger to lightly kind of use it to blend the two colors together. And I thought this gave such an interesting twist to it because as you can see it kind of made the look turn a little bit like of a green fleck to it between where the yellow and purple meet and I thought it was just such a fun twist it kind of subdued the purple a little bit but I didn't mind overall I thought this was a fun little topper and a, a way to blend the two shimmers together once my face was done I went ahead and finished out my lower lash line just using that dark gray right against my lash line to deepen it up before going on with the yellow and you know 
adding the yellow there to diffuse it out, soften it up. And then the final step being that lightest yellow in the palette to make sure there was no, no harsh lines and everything. Blend it out very smooth and effortlessly. For my inner corner, I went ahead and used the light pink shimmer and I just popped that in there. As you can see, it goes on beautifully. We've already used this, but it shows up very well. And then just for a fun little twist, I decided to use the pink shimmer that I used on the inner portion of my lid for my highlight. And as you can see, it works beautifully for this. I thought it was a very natural, effortless type of highlight, so you can use those on your face if you like. But yeah, this is the completed look. Overall, I really like how it turned out. And like I said, I love how the addition of that gold shade in the middle just brought out a little bit of like green to this look or just something interesting and different. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And overall, the finished look was very, very effortless. I feel like the only critique I had is that if I just mixed the gray and the mustard shades together in the pan and then put it on my eyes, it probably would have been an easier, more effortless and quicker to get type of blend. But even still doing it the way I did it, I did think it blended out nicely. It just took a few more moments to get the blend the way I wanted it. But overall, very, very happy. Mattes lasted wonderful throughout the day. Shimmers lasted really well. The inner corner shimmer that I used on the inner part of my lid actually didn't move at all. It's a very fine shimmer and that is definitely a plus with this because it doesn't transfer up into my brow bone throughout the day. Okay, diving into the third look, we're gonna take that peachy pink shade and we're using that first on my eyelid. As you can tell, a very bright shade, absolutely intense and colorful. It took very little work to blend up. And I like that this has a little bit more oomph to the actual color so that you can definitely see it. There are the other two pastels on either side of it are so very light, you almost can't see it on my eyes. But this one I feel like definitely stands on its own two feet and shows up on my skin tone. Next up, I'm taking that more cranberry color and using this to really deepen it up. Again, a gorgeous color. Like, just look how intense and beautiful that is. When it comes to the red and pinks in this palette, they did a great job giving you just so much saturation with the colors. I really did enjoy it. And then once that was blended out, I'm just taking that macarons color and I'm using this on the outer corner to deepen out my look. Once that was placed down, I'm gonna use that lightest pink, the rose color, and I'm using this to just blend out that darker red and fuse everything together and just kind of going back and forth with all of the mattes to play around with it until I like how it looks. All four of these mattes blended really nicely together. I was very happy with the way I got the blend and I feel like all of them stand out really nicely on their own. To add just a little bit more depth, I'm taking that gray and just putting it right on top and really sticking it just to the outer corner of this look before I'm gonna take a little bit more red and blend on top of it, just to kind of sandwich that gray, that dark gray black in the look, just to give a little bit more depth. Doing this method I thought worked out really well. I got the depth that I wanted for sure. Definitely looks like a really dark kind of reddish cranberry on my outer corner. I didn't feel like I had to blend too long to get a very seamless look. And also it didn't like look patchy or anything while I was blending these two shades together. So overall, very happy with how the dark red and the dark gray work together. After putting on a little bit of NYX glitter primer, I'm just going on with that uh, softer yellow shimmer and putting this up into my crease, keeping on the inner portion. It shows up really nicely. It's very smooth, very effortless to put on, and overall just a gorgeous shade. And then after that, I'm going to take that pinky one next to it and packing this onto the rest of the lid. And as you can see, paired with these colors, it actually shows up a little bit more purpley than the pink, which is some like an interesting little twist. It's definitely this shade is almost dual chrome in that it can be pink or purple depending on what you pair it with. So I really love that little twist to the shade and as you can see it goes on very easily. The two blend together so effortlessly. Once everything was blended out the way I liked it, I'm going to finish out my face and then come back and do my lower lashes. I'm just going to take that dark gray right against my lower lash line like I always do before taking the purple and using that to kind of blend and soften and diffuse it all out and just take a little bit of the pink to marry it up to what I have going on above my eyes. Inner corner, I'm gonna use that middle yellow shade and as you can see, a very intense inner corner highlight. I had to spend a little bit of time blending this out but it's, it's a gorgeous inner corner highlight. Very sparkly, very intense and has a yellow kind of green shift to it using it with this look and using it on my inner corner. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. But yeah, that is going to be the finished look. Wear time for this was absolutely perfect. When I went to take my makeup off later that day, it looked just as good as when I had started the look out in the morning. So the shimmers did not move, I think because they're more of a finer mill than the other three shimmers in the palette. These two stay right where I put it and show up beautifully. There was no creasing, no fading, no creasing or issues or anything with the mattes as well. Overall, very, very happy with this look.
Look number four, we're just starting off priming my eyelids per usual, using something different just to test it out with a different base before going into that gray and packing this on the outer corner. We've already used this several times, both alone and mixing it with other colors. It shows it very beautifully, absolutely no complaints. And then once that was down, I'm gonna take that light gray, which I hadn't used yet, and I'm using this right on top of it just to smooth it out, blend it, and give it a very soft and diffused blend out to my brows. And this shade as well is very pigmented, very beautiful, and very effortless to use and the two just seamlessly go together obviously because of the colors but they just work so well and didn't take me a whole lot of blending before I thought the blend between the two was perfect and I can move on to the shimmers. After a little bit of glitter primer, I'm going to just take that yellow. You guys, I love this yellow so much and I was curious to see what colors would really stand out with this shade if I put it with the grays. So I'm just using this one yellow shimmer all over my lid for this look and it is so beautiful, it is stunning. I love that a lot more green showed up in this look, pairing it with all of the grays. And the shadow itself just pops so much against the grays. I really liked how this turned out. Again, a very smooth shadow, very effortless to put on, very easy to pick up with a brush. Very, very happy with this shade. Once my face was done, I'm doing my lower lash line and just taking that dark gray right against my lower lash line before taking the mustard in here to blend it out. I just thought it'd be a little pop of something interesting and maybe help tie in the yellow on the lid if I use the matte mustard shade to blend out the black and I really liked that little twist. Once that was done though, I just am finishing out with an inner corner highlight using that there. Again, a gorgeous inner corner highlight, very happy with it, but that is going to be the completed look. This look was really effortless and easy to get and just so stunning there's so much sparkle going on on my lids with this shade it is absolutely beautiful i wish the camera could do it justice but it just doesn't um i should also say that in some of these looks i'm wearing the new nomad lip glosses i've been really bad at letting you guys know but in almost every look that i did during this seven looks video i did go ahead and top either my lipstick or just use it by itself one of the lip glosses that nomad is releasing with this palette Okay, look five, we are doing it y'all. Look five, I'm just gonna start with that cranberry shade and put it right into my crease. This is such a smooth, beautiful type of matte. As you can see, a couple dips in, a couple blendings out, and it's very intense and shows up very nicely on my eyes. And then once that's down, I'm just gonna take that dark gray per usual and pack this on the outer corner before going with that dark maroon shade, dark red shade, and putting it right on top. I was curious to see how it would work using the black first and then the cranberry on top, since in the previous look, I had switched it around and thought it was very easy to get the look so using it this way I just want to see if it would work as well definitely my recommendation would be to put the cranberry down first and then the gray on top because it was just easier to blend whereas now I felt like I had to spend a little bit more time at blending the black and the red together because the black was just so intense so something to note but once that was down I went ahead and took that soft pink and I'm using it to kind of diffuse out the rest of the edges before going back into that red and working a little bit longer to really make it an effortless blend so that would definitely be my recommendation if you're wanting to incorporate the black into looks to try to get more depth is to use the color you want first and then just add a little bit of the black to it. You guys know I just like a little pop of something, so I'm taking that mustard and putting it right in there. Almost can't see it over all the pink, but it's a little bit of mustard in there, and I thought it was just a nice little pop. Before I'm moving on to my lid color, and after a little bit of glitter primer, I am using that gray shimmer all over the lid. Very pigmented, smooth. We've talked about this already. No complaints with this shade. It is beautiful. And I actually forgot to show this part, but when I was working on my eyes, I went ahead and took a little bit of the MBA glitter primer, and I topped that over the shimmer and just kind of kept my eyes closed for a few minutes to let it dry and I was curious to see if this would help the these really intense metallics in the palette specifically the yellow purple and gray to see if it would help them not transfer so this is a little something I did and I'm sorry I forgot to record that but definitely an experiment I was doing with this look but anyway once I was done with the shimmer I went ahead and just took a little bit of that cranberry color and tapping it over the gray and this really gave a very nice ombre from the shimmer gray to the really dark maroon outer corner 
And then once that was done, I went ahead and did my face per usual before coming back to do my lower lash line. And I'm taking that black first, putting it down per usual because I like depth on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take that red and blend it out. And then for the inner corner, I'm just going to pop it with that mustardy shade. And the tones with this look just, I felt like it was so effortless and beautiful. I love that little pop of mustard with all the cranberryness and the reds going on in this look. Once my inner corner was applied though, that was the completed look. This look, I really enjoyed how it turned out. Very reddish, but that little little pop of the mustard in there I thought was just a fun little twist and definitely a little bit of me in all of the red and whatnot but overall I really did enjoy this look and my little experiment putting the glitter primer on top I did want to note that this absolutely worked to keep the shimmers from going all the way up into my crease there was a tiny bit of transfer but it was so minimal you could still clearly see the line where I kind of cut it with the shimmer it was still very evident there was no creasing there was no fading with the shimmers and the sparkliness of the shimmers stayed kind of on my lid more so and just a couple of them went up into my crease so definitely would be my recommendation if you're struggling to get those three really intense metallic shimmers to stay on your lid if you get this palette uh, try topping it with a little bit of clear type of glitter primer and I use specifically the MBA one which I'll leave linked down in the description box Okay, look six, we are diving in. I hope you guys aren't getting tired yet, but we're gonna go in with that dark lilac-y color and putting that on in my outer corner. This shade goes on really, really nicely, and I decided to use that kind of peachy tone on top of it just to blend it into my crease a little bit and soften it out. I had to take a little bit of time to really get these two to blend, and I even am gonna take a touch of that lighter lavender color just to really get the blend between the dark violet and the peach to blend, but once I do that, it definitely looks very effortless, and it definitely gave me the blend I was going for. Taking a bit of that gray, I'm popping it in the inner corner. This one is so pigmented. I kind of went a little too heavy handed and had to spend a little bit of time blending and softening it out because it's just so pigmented. Taking a touch of that dark gray, I'm just adding a tiny bit of it to the lavender, just a little bit to add depth before going on with my glitter primer. And then once that's down, I'm taking that shimmer purple and putting this over the main lid area of my eye look. Such a beautiful color, you know, per usual, no complaints. And then I'm gonna take this soft yellow shimmer in the palette and I'm putting that on the rest of the inner corner and just taking some time to blend it out and, and make sure the transition between that yellow and purple is nice and diffused. And then once I finish my face, coming back for the inner corner, I'm just gonna take that dark gray, just a touch of it before taking the dark lavender and blending it mostly all of that all over my lower lash line just to get a nice soft and diffused look. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm taking that light pink shimmer, and that is going to be the completed look. Um, no complaints with this eye look per usual. I thought the blend was really nice. I really like how all the colors blend together so effortlessly, and it was just very easy for me to create different type of looks with this palette without feeling too repetitive. Wear time, also fantastic. No issues with mattes at all, like fading away on my eyelid. And then the shimmers are beautiful. The purple, of course, did transfer up into my crease shade, but the inner part stayed fantastic. All right, y'all, we are on the final look. And this time I wanted to try out blending the darker colors together in the pan before putting them on, on my eyes. So I'm taking that dark red, taking like two dips in there and then one dip into the dark gray before popping it on my outer corner. And as you can see, it mixes together really nicely as you apply it to your lid if you kind of go into the two pans that you want. So that's another easy and effortless way to deepen up the look without having to kind of do the mixing on your eyes. And then just taking some of that mustard shade. I love this shade. It's definitely one of my favorite matte in the palette for sure. I'm just blending it right on top of that. And I like how it kind of helped turn the outer corner more of a brown, like a deep dark brown as opposed to you know the red standing out too much and then I'm just going to take a little bit more of mixing that red and gray together to bring it into my crease just to give a little bit more definition and depth in my crease shade before I'm going to go on ahead and take the lightest yellow and using that as the final blend out for this look and as you can see it definitely shows up on my lid but it's one of those colors that by the you know halfway through the day you almost can't tell that I even had this shade put on because it's just so very light and so very pale on my skin that I just feel like it, I don't really see it but again it's a great shade to have to blend out 
after a little bit of glitter primer, I'm just taking the purple all over my lid and putting it on. I thought this was really pretty just with the purple and the mustardy brown tones, but you know I had to add a little bit of something else. So I just took that shimmer yellow in the middle and I'm putting it right on top. And as I said, depending on what you use this shimmer with, it kind of depends on what stands out. And as you can see, the yellow really doesn't stand out going on top of the purple like this. It actually shows up a more greeny and almost like a white gold. It's absolutely beautiful, very unique, and just gave this whole look a twist that I wasn't expecting since I used that shade on top of the purple as opposed to putting it down and just blending the two colors together. But anyway, once the shimmers are down, going on my lower lash line, and I decided to just use the red here to blend out on my lower lash line, and then just take the mustard yellow to blend out that. I was just curious to see how it would kind of pair with the red and not have any kind of blacker depth to it. And as you can see, you could definitely still see a little bit of that red, but it almost turned it kind of orangey, which I like with this look. And then final step per usual is just putting a little bit on my inner corner to make it pop. And I also used it for my face today. And again, as you can see, I thought it gives a really pretty reflect and just a very pretty effect to the face and definitely helps pair and pair the eyes with the face very nicely. But that is going to be the final look for these tutorials. Seven looks total. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I don't have anything else to add to the end here except to say that wear time was really, really nice except for the shimmers going into my crease. But again, if I wanted to, I could just put a little bit of that clear glitter primer on top and it really does help seal it in and then with the wear time for the mattes and that way with the shimmers your finished look would look the same at night as it does in the morning so overall very happy with the quality of nomads formula All right, there you have it. Those are all the looks that I created with the new Nomad palette. I didn't even mention in the beginning, but the artwork on here is absolutely beautiful. As always, when it comes to Nomad, they do a great job with the color design, with the with the cover design matching the color story inside. All of it is just very well done, in my opinion. So yeah, per usual, let me know which look was your favorite. I know there were a lot of them, but if you have a favorite, feel free to let me know that down below in the comments. And let's get right into my overall review of this palette. So if I had to sum it up in just a few words, my overall review review for this palette would be that it's definitely worth it if you like the color story because the quality of the eyeshadows are definitely there in my opinion. The shimmers in this palette are so very nice. I would say there's two distinct different types of shimmers. These two are much softer as you guys heard during the tutorial and then these are much more intense, more foiled, more sparkly. Just overall just a little like amped up compared to these two. Not to say that these two aren't pretty. They're very very nice. I was very pleased with them and I like that they were very beautiful on the eyes. They had a nice amount of pigment to them. They had a nice amount of like you know just beauty to them but they weren't so intensely sparkly and messy that they transferred everywhere. They did a really good job staying on my lid the whole day without getting all the way into my crease. So something to note if that is important to you. And then for the mattes, I enjoyed them per usual when it comes to Nomad Cosmetics uh, matte formula. They have such a nice formula. And the way they paired the shadows up, having you know a dark black with a gray, a more darker violet with a light one, and a more darker mustard with a light one, it was just very easy and effortless to create looks and to get a very nice seamless blend because you had the two to work with. And I also really appreciate that you can mix and match the darker shades together to get a different type of outer corner or more intense or more depth to the outer corner. But yeah, overall, that is pretty much my review. If you like this color story, I do think the quality is there. It's very, very stunning, very pretty. You can create a lot of really pretty looks. And if these colors are uh, speaking to you at all, I do think it's definitely one worth picking up. And it's a bit more unique, I feel like, that's come out from them than the more recent releases, as I was saying. They've been really on the green, blue, and even a little bit red heavy. But this has such a different take with all of these tones with the mustards with the violet and the grays but also you got the warmth with the reds for me personally you guys know I'm a bit more of a blue green girl so I don't think that this is going to trump any of my previous nomad palettes when it comes to my favorites from them just because I really do like my greens and blues and more you know greens blues and yellows tend to be the colors that really I just love and have a special place in my heart however I really did enjoy playing with this palette because these mustardy yellow tones in the middle made the palette for me and anytime I use them in a look I was so very happy and even though the colors you know purple and pinks and reds I'm not as into they were a lot of very pretty looks that I did enjoy exploring and playing with so overall this was a fun palette to get to try and I really did enjoy it as I said all the looks that I created were a lot of fun to try to see how creative and how out of the box I could be with this color story so that is pretty much going to do it for my review I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this palette let me know your thoughts down below do you plan to pick it up on launch day or are you going to pick it up 
eventually during a sale and whatnot. What do you think of the color story? Is it a you type of color story? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. And yeah, with all that said, I wanted to say once again, thank you so much to Nomada for sending this to me. I really do appreciate them sending it to me ahead in PR so that I could get a video like this with so many looks. And yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for my video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram, I'm LadyKatie92 over there. I will definitely be sharing some of these looks. I'll be sharing swatches of this, a little reel over there. And yeah, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching once again, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.